Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we're going to talk about Christian Eriksen to Manchester United. But before we get into the latest news, please, if you can, give a like, share, subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Smash that notification button to get the latest Manchester United news. Um, and follow us on Twitter, We United X. Thanks. So, getting into the news, basically, this is coming from a Spanish outlet... El Damasque, El Damasque, link will be in the description. And they're basically saying that Manchester United um, ha have or in talks um, with launching a bid for Christian Eriksen um, in January for about £42 million. Now, as most people are aware, Christian Eriksen's um, contract expires at the end of the season. And from January, he'll be able to basically speak to anybody. So that had happened with Pereira last season. That's why it's at PSG. Um, obviously, there are other teams linked. I think PSG and Real Madrid are also keen as well. Um, but given given United's obviously lack of a midfield and lack of depth for that matter, um, you know, United um, are wanting, from what, from what El Damasco say, to sign obviously Christian Eriksen to boost to that midfield um, for around £42 million in January. Uh, to essentially tempt Daniel Levy into selling. Now, um, you know, there is a question to be had of would Daniel Levy sell to Manchester United? Would he sell to another rival versus would he let Ericsson go for free? Now, my hunch, I would, I would like Ericsson at United, although I, I, I think he's 27. I still think there's a lot for him to give, especially as, as a midfielder. Um, I just think that the key stumbling box that I see in this deal are one, well, three actually are one, as Ericsson wants to go to United, two, Ericsson's potential wages to go to Manchester United, and three, Daniel Levy selling to what essentially would be a rival club. The only real factor I can sort of see in this sort of situation is just the fact that he essentially is a free agent at the end of the season, um, and that Daniel Levy probably might want to cash in on him, much like Sanchez, I think, was cashed in on um, at the end of the season, uh, before, before the season out, you know, pocket £40 million, which you're not going to get an investor in their squad, especially given how Spurs are doing. Um, so for me, um, that is that is where I see the way I see it. Um, uh, and I would say, as a Manchester United fan, uh, Manchester United should go for Christian Eriksen. I'm hoping that these 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 uh, rumours, and I would class them as rumours, because I'm not sure on the reliability of um, this El Damasque, but if it is to be believed, United will hopefully go and Christian Eriksen in January for £42 million, uh, £40 million pounds, um, with a bid, and, uh, and hopefully um, that will be accepted um, by Daniel Levy. Um, like I said, the only stumbling block is the, is just the fact that his wages, sign-on fee, Ericsson obviously wanting to go. But my suspicion, however, though, is is that if Pogba is going to leave at the end of the season, which is a possibility, if Pogba leaves and Pogba decides to go to Real Madrid, then at least that's one competitor out of the way. Um, and I guess we'll, we, we'll take it from there. Anyway, thanks again for, for anyone who's watching. Guys, do, would you like to see Christian Eriksen at Manchester United? Do you think we even have a shot at getting Christian Eriksen at Manchester United? Let me know what you think in the comments and in the description. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Smash the notification button. Follow us on Twitter at United X. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.